Hey guys, it's FireMC again, and today, as you can see, we are on Minecraft PC Edition. And yeah, guys, in short to long to read, I finally moved to Minecraft PC, so therefore I can actually finish this airport. So this isn't actually ported, I actually hand built this, I had to get a shit ton of measurements, but you know, it's going well, pretty nice. And I will do a eventual another update on the airport once we're ready. Here at the airport, we've got some corners I have to there, but today we're going to focus on this Air New Zealand A320. And before we start, I want to give credit where credit is due. Credit does go to John Curry TV for the aircraft design, this is not mine. And now I'll be building in this 1.5 to scale from now on, because it's more realistic to 1 to 1. So let's start. Over here we have the um, nose. I'll just be showcasing the and the interiors. So th this aircraft is in the international configuration. And the only difference between this and the domestic one is the, um, the one international one has uh, sharklets, I believe, and has in entertainment systems, and that's about it. So here it's uh, New Zealand, over there on the uh, fuselage. You've got the overwing exits, which are red. Over here you've got the um, IAE engines, which Air New Zealand uses, as the most Australian and New Zealand airlines use. Well, to be fair, Air New Zealand is the only airline in, there, in New Zealand. Here we have the sharklets. On one side, they're black on the on the inside. When you're looking out from the wing, they're white. I tried using uh, maps, but it didn't work out because all the slabs and stairs and stuff. But either way, here back here we go back to the uh, the, the black half. This is in the not in the old black side. This is the, the new, not new, but it's like the look that they use on the F320s. This this leaf thing, what the hell it's called? It was a pain in the ass. I'll give you I'll give you guys that. But you know, it turned out fairly nice, and you know, I like it. Now you've got the back of the tail with the uh, New Zealand logo again, with the um, EPU, APU, sorry, um, horizontal stabilizers, the tail again. And you've got the wing with the flat track fairings. And Air New Zealand, they have like a, like a little touch of red on, on the back of the uh, slats and fairings and shit like that. Here we've got the landing gear. And I probably am going to be changing this to like, I don't know, maybe one block or one and a half blocks because I just think it's a bit too big, but whatever. And here we have a cargo hold. Surprisingly, an aircraft this small has a cargo hold, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Not much to showcase. We've got a baggage loader. This aircraft's being loaded. So we've got the go up the aircraft stairs, go to the interior. So here there's supposed to be some galleys, but I forgot to put that in there. Here you got the cockpit with the and the sticks and the uh, throttle cover in the middle, EPU, all the fancy shit. And in New Zealand, they pretty much all have all the economy and all the seats are black, so pretty much as boring as you could get. <laughs> We've got overwing exits over here, which I use quartz. Go all the way back. We've got lavatories here. And we've got back galley over here with a jump seat. Um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for, to for today's showcase. You want to see some more showcases of the aircraft? Let me know. I, like I said before, I will, I will be doing um, updates for this airport. As you can see, I've done a shit ton more since the last episode, which is on the Xbox One. All thanks to the world that it got all of it. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.